Friends, welcome to this very special episode of ALTV. Today we'll be doing our very first live interview. The man I'm talking to has been making music on his Atari ST for the past 25 years. He's a member of the Sirius Cybernetics Corporation and he's the main archivist of the Atari ST part of the DemoZoo project. I'm talking about Stefan Benz aka Low Tech Style. And today we'll be talking about his latest and greatest synthwave adventure, Laser Days. So I have set the scene. Behind me you see true 80s icons. People that defined pop music during that era. My neon light is burning bright. Let's talk synthwave and welcome to ALTV. I'm going live to Stefan right now. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Using this device, I will be able to talk to Stefan. Let's check it out. Stefan, you hear me? I'm not hearing anything. Is this okay? Stefan, you read me? Ah, I'm hearing something. We have a connection. Ah, an empty chair. Ah, there we have the man. Hello, Stefan. Welcome to the show. How are you? Hi there, Marty. I'm Dave Gahan from Depeche Mode. Depeche Mode? What is he talking about? Is he on drugs or something? Uh, Stefan, I think you did not hear the question correctly. Let's try something else. Stefan, you recently released your new Synthwave EP. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Shit. Is this guy legit? You verified him, right? Uh, um, yeah, I think we're all a bit nervous. This is our first interview, right? Um, let's try something else again. Uh, Stefan, your new Laser Days EP. How do you feel about it? I don't know. Shit. <laughs> okay, so uh, Stefan was kind enough to send us some exclusive behind the scenes footage when recording his EP. Let's check that out for now. That's not the real Stefan Benz, god damn it, it's a fraud! I told you guys I wasn't up to this interview bullshit! What? You think this is funny, Benz? Oh, you would. No, that's my trademark! Oh, fu I quit! You know what? F you, Benz! F you, Benz! And f your stupid synthwave sh So I have set the scene. Behind me you see true 80s icons. People that defined pop music during that era. My neon light is burning bright. Let's talk synthwave. And welcome to ALTV. Okay, so before we begin, we recently did an interview with Stefan Benz on the Atari Legends website for the people who don't know yet. The interview covered Stefan and his Atari life 
Today we will be discussing his brand new Synthwave EP Laser Days. And Stefan should be ready for us now? He is? Okay. Well hello Mr. Lotech. you are the very first guest on ALTV. How are you feeling today? Hi there Marty, I'm feeling fine, thank you. So Stefan, I think you are most famous in the Atari scene for your chip tunes. But what struck me from the interview we did last week, it was pop star Sabrina that got you into music. Now I was wondering, are you sure it were her songs that inspired you and not her videos? I have to make a slight correction here because it wasn't Sabrina who brought me into music, she brought me back to music. I was interested in, in the 80s pop uh, music since 1982 and followed it uh, throughout the years but then I had some kind of break from 1986 to 1988. Um, where I was more interested in, uh, in home computers and gaming and then Sabrina came up with a new single that was all of me and I was back again. She brought me back to music, not into music. Huh. Hmm. Well, yeah, okay, I still prefer her videos, but that's just me. Next question. We are here today for your latest and greatest work Laser Days. Tell us, how did that came about? Well, the idea for the Laser Days EP came up during the year uh, 2018. Or right at the beginning of the year, there, um, an old schoolmate of mine passed away. And I started to think a lot about the past, the old days with friends and childhood, teenage years. So it started to grow um, throughout the year and finally I had a result in December. Okay, and why Synthwave? Uh, I think that's pretty easy to answer because many of the lyrics are deeply rooted in the 1980s and that's the sound that fits the best. Okay, Stefan, Laser Days contains four songs. And not only do they sound very different in style, when I listen to the lyrics, it seems you are telling a very personal story. Can you tell us a bit about the songs individually? Well, the Laser Days EP is indeed um, a very personal thing to me. It's the first time that I'm writing about my personal feelings and not about data theft or uh, satellites with suicidal tendencies. And after the, the passing of our friend last year, many things, many memories came back. And I thought I had to do something with it. Uh huh. And you did something very great with it, that's for sure. But can you tell us a bit about the lyrics of the songs? Neon Teenage Dreams is about having a device that can record your fantasies and saves them to some memory storage unit. It's a kind of fantasy visualizer. And the story I'm writing about uh, never did happen in reality, but uh, was always some kind of teenage fantasy of mine. And I, there's one line in uh, Neon Teenage Dreams saying, from a crowd of friends, they are long gone, that honors those people who have already passed away and um, cannot be with us anymore now. What a great way to honor your friends. My personal favorite song is the slow paced and darker toned analog. This seems like a very emotional song with an intense feeling of nostalgia. That was very much inspired by Time Cop 1983 and The Midnight. It is 
heavily about how much I miss the past or at least the feeling of the past and being with friends, teenage years, childhood years. Analog is uh, a kind of an ode to the analog world we kids grew up in. You even added a synthwave love song called Marina's Eyes. That's a very catchy tune by the way. As you might have guessed, uh, Marina was my teenage love, but I never told her back then. And so I thought I have to put this in a song as well. And so I did. So the final song on the EP is the title track Laser Days. This song almost didn't make it. Tell us about it. As I already called the EP Laser Days EP, I didn't want uh, any of the songs to be called Laser Days at first. But then I changed my mind. And as it was some kind of Italo disco-ish uh, up-tempo tune, would fit perfectly um, as title track. In the end, it uh, uh, brings it all down to a round figure. Where did you learn to write lyrics like this? I guess it's all experience that came over the years. But I have to remark that this is not the first time that I am writing songs with lyrics. Stefan, some of the songs are dealing with technology and it seems to me not in a positive way. Are you afraid technology is taking over? I am not too much afraid that technology will be taking over. But uh, I think in some cases it's already taking over hand. Like for example all the smartphone zombies that you see walking around these days. Uh huh. Um, and do you have some new songs in the pipeline for us synth waivers? What can we expect? Of course, I am working on a full album. At the moment, progress is very slow, so don't expect anything too soon. But there is still some stuff in the pipeline that I hope you will like. Oh, that's awesome news, Stefan. I cannot wait to listen to the new tracks. Now, to finish this interview properly, Let's do some random nostalgia questions. The first one. What do you love most about the 80s? It's, it's the complete package, I guess. It's not only the music, it's, it's everything. It's the styles, it's the girls, it's the whole mentality. The 80s were the years of my childhood, my teenage years, and I think the complete package makes it fantastic for me. What is your all-time favorite 80s movie? Um, well, my favorite 80s movie is Blade Runner. Yeah, it's because of the Atari logo in it, right? I love Blade Runner myself. Now the final question. If you could be an 80s pop star or a band member, who would it be? I guess it would be Dave Gahan from Depeche Mode, but I don't have his voice. <laughs> well, Stefan, thank you so much for participating. You are an awesome guy and I hope you don't mind that I pulled that little joke on you in the first five minutes of this video. I hope you had a good laugh. I absolutely love Laser Days. I must have heard it a gazillion times by now. And for the people who don't know what I'm talking about, I put all the information in the description below. Go check the album out on Bandcamp or on YouTube and give it a like. Well that's a wrap. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button or please consider subscribing. Enjoy laser days and for now remember There is no better music than synthwave to describe. No, it's wrong.
Where did you learn to <coughs> Where did you learn to write like okay. Where did you learn to Where did you learn Where did you learn to to write lyrics like like this Where did you learn to Where did you learn to write lyrics like this <laughs> <laughs>